Now the first step is to launch Steam as an administrator. So you can close Steam first. Now once you exit Steam, next time when you launch Steam, you can just type in Steam and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator, open Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, you can disconnect it. Also disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services running, close it. Also disable overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running like Discord, G, Force Experience or any overlay application, close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, you can close it and then check. Also, if you have undervolt 3D computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12. And then you can launch the game and then check still not working. In that case, you can remove this from here and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then for product type, for me it's GeForce, so select GeForce. Now select your series. Make sure that you select the right series as per your graphic card. For me, it's 30 series. Now select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card. Now if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And then select Game Ready Driver over here. And then click on Search. And then click on Download. And again, click on Download on this page. And once the download is 100% complete, you can run this file. And now once you run this file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a, put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once this is inst once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. And over here, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance over here and then click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next, we should run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So you can make a right click on the game, select properties, uh, select manage, then click on browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok if that does not work you can put a check over here select windows 8 and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now it's still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can you can remove this you can uncheck it and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete now you can launch the game next step is to add the game exe file to your third party antivirus so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, go to update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Now click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allowed app, browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open. 
once the game is added over here now you can launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see Vis microsoft visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 so you have to download and run both the exe file so click on it and then run this run these two exe file and once you install x86 and x64 then you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing works you can uninstall the game then go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive if the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.